Well, speaking of things to watch for, get ready for two rare and amazing sights in the sky. Colorado will see an annular eclipse in October and a total solar eclipse in April. Yeah, both in North America will be visible. Colorado might not be the best view, but there are some close by places. So we want to bring in media, meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo uh, because Lisa, both you and I traveled to the path of totality for the 2017 eclipse. I went to Wyoming. Yeah, and there I was with in my Missouri. Kids. You were in Missouri. Amazing, right? It was, I mean, really one of the coolest <coughs> experiences I've ever seen. Your, your little monkeys are so little, by oh, the way. I know. So are yours, yeah. Oh, my husband, <laughs> looks, he still looks old. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a fun there. camping trip. He, he will oh. never camp again after that, but man, we had so much fun and it was really cool. Now, a total solar eclipse, like the one happening April 8th of next year, is when the moon covers the sun entirely. It's gonna produce what's called a corona. Now, an annular solar eclipse, like the one expected in October and it happens when the moon passes between the sun and earth and because the moon is farther away from earth it appears smaller than the sun and does not completely cover the star. This creates that ring of fire effect in the sky mm. and this will be the best uh, best show of the two at least that's what they say and already has stargazers more than excited. You're talking about this celestial event that is relatively rare um, especially if you don't travel you stay in one place so it's a way of talking about astronomy, talking about our place in the universe, really. It'd be cool if you could just step out the door and watch this, right? Uh, and as far as the path on those eclipses, the highlighted path on the left shows the annular eclipse okay. on October 14th here in Denver. We can expect about 80% coverage with less coverage the farther east you go. Hmm. Now, to get the full experience, areas like Durango, the Four Corners, Albuquerque, they're going to see the moon appear to pass across the center of the sun, uh, the path that's there on the right. That shows the path of the total solar eclipse. And as you can see, Colorado is not on that path. Now, in case you're wondering, this is kind of cool. NASA does have a countdown to the upcoming uh, annular and solar eclipses. And for more information on that mm. and this story, more information on where to go, mm -hmm. head to denver7.com. We're both going to Dallas yeah. next year for the full solar eclipse because that, I think you and I both chose that because it's the closest driving distance mm -hmm. to like a major city in the totality area. Right. Okay. So, and a cool city still. And just a cool place, yeah. yeah. At, rather than being in the middle of a field like yeah. I was in Wyoming. Yeah. <laughs> Better <laughs> exit strategy too. Yeah, I think oh. so. More yeah. highways. Yeah, yeah, more highways. How long was that traffic to get you yeah. home? It took us 12 hours to drive a distance that should have been three hours Oof. from yeah. from Wyoming back to Denver. Brutal. Yeah. So book your hotels now <laughs> yes, if you yes, want to do it. Yes, that's right, that's yeah. why we planned it in advance.